up the show, so get fucking up. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. A little bit of the bubbly. What's going on, you guys? It's the F. PL Penguin back once again with another video for you all. Hope you're doing well. And today's video, I'll be talking about and showing you my fourth draft um, going into the uh, 2021 season. It's uh, giving me an FPL headache. Um, no surprise, really, for any of us. And I will also be talking about Spurs assets. To Spurs or not to Spurs, that is the question. So without further ado, Here's the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And um, here we go. We've got Ramsdale in goal. Trent, Walker-Peters and Saliba in defence. Zayic, Aubameyang as my captain for now. But he's probably going to be my captain anyway for game week one. Pereira, King Salah. Got Brewster in there as well. He's linked with a loan move. Heavily linked with a loan move to Sheffield United. And I'm sure he'll start because they lacked the goals last season, Sheffield United. Got Timo Verne up there as well. And Danny Ings as well. Uh, on the bench, I've got Nyland, Stevens, Dallas and Lamptey. Uh, Stevens, I'll probably uh, change to Curtis Jones once Brewster moves. Because you're going to have a maximum of three from uh, each team. So... That will clear the way to have that uh, replacement Liverpool uh, player on that bench. That uh, kind of bench fodder. But hopefully he does come on and get some points if you can give some more chances. And I've got Stuart Dallas, as I said. Good to have him after the uh, Liverpool game with Fulham and Aston Villa in game weeks 2 and 3. And Lamptey, now that Montoya's gone out, uh, been sold from Brighton. It'd be good to have him as well. He, he usually likes pushing himself up front. Usually likes playing in midfield as well. So it'd be good to have him as well on that bench. So my plan is at the moment, I've got about 0.5 in the bank. And my plan is to upgrade Danny Ings after game week one, going into game week two to Martial. Now I'm debating whether I have Che Adams or Danny Ings. Now Danny Ings is more proven goal scorer, but Che Adams was picking up uh, some fine form near the end of the season with goals against Bournemouth and Sheffield United. But I might just stick with Danny Ings. And uh, I'll get to the Spurs assets in a minute and talk about why I probably 50-50 might want them, might not want them. So that's the plan, to upgrade Danny Ings to Martial going into game week two. Next up, we've got uh, Spurs' is, well, about to be their new signing, uh, Doherty from Wolves. What a big loss that will be for Wolves, but it could be a, a big gain for uh, Spurs and I think he could be very good with Aurier set to move to AC Milan with four goals and eight assists to his name he's, he'll probably be the number one attacking fullback at Spurs next season or this season coming and he's uh, about six million and I'd love to have him because I think he'll do very well um, Harry Kane will benefit from that you know having those crosses come in and probably heading them in and probably make Harry Kane a bit more of a better player better FPL choice if I dare say and uh, I am considering him now. I think he's on the watch list. And uh, it's, it's good. I think he'll be a very, very good player, Doherty, for uh, Spurs. I think he uh, has has it in him, that experience. Playing in Europe as well. So he's got European experience to bring to Spurs. Next up, we've got the land of the rising sun. And uh, it's Mr. Sonny from Spurs. 11 goals and 13 assists to his name. He's shown some fine form pre-season so far. With two goals against Ipswich and one goal against Reading. It's about priced at 9 million. I really would like A lot of people are going with Son over Kane. And uh, I'm not really surprised. You know, he's about 1.5 million cheaper than Kane. And Kane always starts the season off dodgy, as we know. And Son has that fire in him. He's so good to watch. He's, uh, I think he won goal of the season just recently, if I'm correct. And it's no surprise. He's that good of a player. And it shouldn't be long until the likes of Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Real Madrid or Borussia Dortmund uh, come knocking. I tell you, he's that good of a player. So I, I would like him. I would like him with Spurs having um, Everton, Southampton, Newcastle first three game weeks. They're very juicy them. But last season, Spurs didn't particularly perform that well against them. They just beat Everton 1-0 at uh, Spurs last season. And uh, they drew 1-1, I think, with Southampton last season. They played them a couple of times. They played them in the FA Cup as well as at the uh, the League Cup. Uh, but they didn't really dominate as such. Or some didn't really shine as much in those 
fixtures against Southampton. So I'm a bit 50-50. Newcastle did beat Spurs at Spurs 1-0. Fair enough, they're near the end of the season. Project restart. Spurs did win 3-1 or something against Newcastle. So it's going to be interesting to see how Son and the rest of the Spurs team do. Next up, we've got Mr. Harry Kane. Just talking about him in the last uh, clip. He's 10.5 million. 18 goals and 2 assists. He doesn't have the best of starts, though. Like we know, in like August or September. He doesn't start off well. Now, I don't know if that's a curse of him. I don't know. But I wouldn't risk... If you were tempted, then go for him. Nice three fixtures. And now he's got the... Uh, with Doherty crossing them uh, balls into the box. That's a bonus as well. So maybe he'll benefit with from that. Uh, who knows? So he's a bit of a punt, but who knows? He's a bit of hit and miss. He's a bit of a troll like Jamie Vardy, uh, Harry Kane. But all the time will tell. Next up, we've got Deli Alley. Now this guy had uh, a few injuries and uh, suspension uh, last season. Eight goals and six assists last season. And 8 million is priced at. I'm tempted to get him over Sun. He's 1 million cheaper. But the thing is, is he a guaranteed starter? That's the question. And also, with Spurs chock a block fixtures in Europe, etc., because they got the qualifications or something in Europa League. So, can we expect a lot of um, rotation from Jose Mourinho? That's the question. So, I'm a bit nervous. I would opt for Ali over Sun because, you know, price. Um, Wise, not not rise, but wise. <laughs> uh, price wise, because it, it just fits my team so well. And if he gets the starts, he does perform well, Deli Ali. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. That's uh, what I'm kind of going for. I'm about 90% there. And this team you're looking at the screen is 90% 90 complete. And hopefully... Um, that will be the team I go with. And maybe, who knows, I might be going for a cheeky Spurs punt. Who knows? But do give me a follow on Instagram at, at FPL underscore Penguin. And the same on Twitter, but with a number one at the end. And uh, do join my mini league as well. Mini league code is on the screen right now. And uh, please share, please subscribe, hit that bell, hit the like button. I've been the Penguin. And see you later! So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. A little bit of the bubbly.